Good morning. Welcome wherever you are watching from. We are really glad that you have joined us. Now it's the start of the school summer holidays and that means we've got just one week until it's our online holiday club. So if you go to St Mary's Williston and Bojo YouTube channel you will be able to find our holiday club starting Monday the 27th of July. It's called Brave Dave. Now today is the last in our series of Giants of Faith. People in the Bible who are full of faith in our God, even when life was really difficult. Today we're going to be thinking about someone called Gideon. Now Gideon faced some really scary and uncomfortable stuff. But actually as he held on to God, he gained confidence uh, to face whatever he needed to face. So let's pray as we come to worship. Holy Spirit, uh, you are welcome here. Come and fill us up once again and give us confidence as we go into the school summer holidays. Amen. on my side I don't need to be afraid I don't need to run and hide when I open my Bible it's clear as can be the God that I read about with me and I'm gonna be a giant of faith like Moses and Joseph Daniel, Esther, Rahab and Ruth no denying the truth to faith Every day we always stick together Hand in hand Through every adventure When I'm playing with my friends Or when I go to sleep I know you are always there Bible as clear as can be The God that I read about with me And I'm gonna be a giant of faith Like Moses, Moses and Joseph, Joseph Daniel, Esther, Rahab and Ruth No denying the truth The giants of faith are like David, David Elijah, Elijah, Noah and the rest of the team Be a giant of faith. By faith I can do anything. By faith I can do anything. By faith I can do anything. Thank you for soap so we don't get infected. Thank you for letting us see your new granddad. Thank 
you, Lord, that you keep us safe at this time and that we're able to see each other even if it's from a distance. I'm thankful for discovering baking. I'm thankful for spending time with the children and the lovely sunshine. I'm thankful for not having to wake up as early. I'm thankful for footpath walks. What are you thankful for, Amy? Pizza. Yay! Okay, let us pray. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for keeping us safe in amongst all this chaos. Please continue to guide me through these times and to trust in you. Amen. Amen. Father God, thank you for loving us and keeping us safe during this time. Please help us to continue to have faith, whatever is going on around us. Help us to be giants of faith in you. Amen. Dear God, I'm just so grateful for keeping my grandparents safe and healthy. I don't know what I'd do if they had died to COVID-19. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Ellie. Dear Lord, thank you for keeping my family and friends safe. Thank you for helping me to have courage in this time. Amen. Amen. Lord, okay. with your healing hands, heal those who are sick and end this pandemic. Amen. Amen. Joe. Dear Lord, thank you that we have all been able to spend time together over this period via the power of technology. We look forward to a time when we all meet together again. Amen. Amen. Hannah. Dear Lord, please help people who are struggling in this time. Please help them to trust in you. Amen. Amen. Jess. Dear Lord, please give me the courage and confidence to start my new school in September. Amen. 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 All right. My name's Gideon, and I'm a bit of a coward, if I'm honest, which is why I was more than a little surprised when an angel showed up. <gasps> and called me a brave and mighty man. Brave and mighty, my knees were knocking. But the other surprising thing is that I was hiding at the time. I live in Israel and the tribe next door, the Midianites, <laughs> had decided to attack us and destroy our crops and kill our livestock and more or less do whatever it took to move onto our land. So I was hiding from them inside a giant wine barrel. <laughs> God is going to use you to defeat the Midianite army. The angel announced. Oh, but how? Oh, but when? But why me? Gather an army and God will show you. The angel assured me. I wasn't feeling assured at all. Still, I thought, it's an angel. Trust the angel. So I did my best. <laughs> round up, round up. Who wants to fight in my army? <laughs> 32,000 men answered my trumpet call. But God had another surprise in store. You have too many soldiers, he said. I want you to know that I gave you the victory and not your big army. Tell everyone who's scared to go home. Huh? 22,000 men left. And then I was only down to 10,000. Still too many, God said and it was enough to keep myself from crying and running away. Take the men to the river and tell them to have a drink. Huh? Send home every man who kneels down to lap the water up like a dog. <laughs> Only keep the men who first scoop the water up into their hands. Uh, okay. I did what God said, and by the time that little test was done, I only had 300 men left. Oh! Now sneak down into the enemy camp. Great! Another thing I didn't want to do. And take your servant Pura with you, if you're scared. As if God knew I was scared. Which he did, obviously. So down into the valley we went. Down where the enemies were camped for the night. And there were thousands of them. So many I lost count. How are 300 of us ever going to defeat this massive army, I wondered. And then I heard two of the soldiers talking to one another inside their tent. Hey, guess what? What? I had a dream. Oh. I dreamed that this giant bread roll rolled into our camp and crushed us all. No way. Yeah. Oh, that'll be Gideon. The Lord has given him victory over us. Oh. Oh. 
Wowee! After hearing that, I knew that I could just trust God. So back up the hill we scurried, and we handed all of the soldiers their weapons. I say weapons, but they were more like household items. Everyone was given a clay jar, a torch, and a trumpet. That's right, God wanted to make it absolutely clear that we weren't going to win this one by force of arms. So back into the valley we went, broken up into groups of a hundred, and when I gave the signal, we blew our trumpets, <laughs> broke our jars, waved our torches, and shouted, A sword for the Lord and for Gideon! It was the middle of the night. And what with all the shouting and jar breaking and trumpet blowing and torch waving, the enemy army woke up confused. Oh. They didn't know what was happening. And they started swinging their swords at one another. Oh. In the end, they were so befuddled and frightened that we were able to chase them and defeat them, even though we were massively outnumbered. So I guess the angel was right after all. Oh. And the man with the dream. Oh. And God. And because I trusted them, I really did turn out to be a brave and mighty man. And no one was more surprised than me. Okay, so for today's activity, I need some volunteers. Can I have some volunteers, please? Oh look, there's a surprise, my familiar volunteers. So today we are, I'm going to present my volunteers with a few different challenges, okay? And they've got to decide how they feel about those different challenges. Whether they feel comfortable or uncomfortable or they're not really bothered. The first thing, is jumping into a swimming pool. Can you go and stand near the sign that you want? So you're staying there, Jess, yeah? Yeah. Where are you going, Matilda? Are you coming to me or are you going to comfortable? Comfortable. You're coming to comfortable, there she is. So you both feel quite comfortable <laughs> jumping into a swimming pool, okay? So why do you feel comfortable <laughs> jumping into a swimming pool? Because I like swimming. Because you like swimming? What about you, Matilda? I think the same. You think the same. Did anything help you feel comfortable about doing this? Um, learning to swim. Okay, so learning to swim. Do you agree with that, Matilda? Learn to swim, so practice and learn some other people helping you. Okay, next thing, what about stroking a dog? How do you feel about it? So we've got comfortable, not really bothered or uncomfortable. So you feel comfortable again, Jessica? Okay, Matilda, why do you feel uncomfortable? I don't really like much. You don't really like dogs much sometimes, mm -hmm. do you? So what could make you feel more comfortable, Matilda? Uh, with someone with me. Okay, somebody with you, yes. And maybe the, knowing the dog would help as well, wouldn't it? Okay, well done. Next one. Um, solving a maths question. So uncomfortable, comfortable or not really bothered. Ooh. <laughs> So you're saying here, just so you're comfortable with that? I don't really mind. Why are you comfortable with that one, Matilda? Because I like maths. You do like maths, don't you? Jessica, why have you stayed in the not really bothered category? Again, it depends what the maths question is and okay. whether I've learned it or not. Okay, so you feel more comfortable with some maths yeah. questions than you would with others. Okay, right, one more, I think. Let's do climbing up somewhere high. So comfortable. Uncomfortable or not really bothered? What do you think? Okay, so you're comfortable with that now, are you, Jess? Okay, why is that? Um, because I'm not really scared of heights and I quite like climbing. Okay, and Matilda, why are you uncomfortable with that one? Because I don't really like heights much and I'm not very good at climbing. Okay, so what would make you feel more comfortable? What would help you? A high nest or if it's a little bit lower. Okay, so climbing something a bit lower, yeah? And what about if you had to climb it, what could you do then? Could you maybe have somebody to help you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that might would that make you feel a bit more comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Right, thank you very much, my two volunteers. So, we have seen that different people can feel completely different 
about the same thing. But certain people can help to make us more comfortable and more confident. Gideon faced something incredibly scary but trusted God even when he didn't feel very brave, comfortable or able to face things. Our God is someone that can be trusted and he knows what we need so with him we can face difficult and scary stuff. I wonder what uncomfortable or even scary stuff you are facing at the moment. Maybe it's a thought of a long summer holiday or maybe it's a thought of going back to school in September or maybe it's something else entirely. Remember this, God is on your side. His Holy Spirit is with you. He knows you and what you need. So ask him and with him you will be more able to face whatever needs facing. Okay, Chris, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get across the monkey bars. How confident do you feel? Not at all. <laughs> okay, go. Should we cheer? Go, Dad. 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 Go, but God had plenty of confidence, reducing his army from tens of thousands to just 300. And fortunately, Gideon trusted him. So, how confident are you? We're going to play a short game. This is called, how confident would you feel in these situations? You can have a go at home as well. Okay, so uh, zero is no confidence and 10 is very confident. So Matthew, you've been asked by your English teacher to give a five minute presentation to the rest of the class. How confident would you feel? Quite confident. Okay, good. What about you at home from naught to 10? What do you reckon? Okay, next one is, there's um, a school residential for a week and you can go, but it's somewhere that you haven't been before. So how confident would you feel? Quite confident. About five out of ten? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. What about you at home? Okay, uh, you arrive at a party early and you barely know anyone. How confident would you feel? What do you think, Matthew? Not confident. Not so confident for that one, would you? No, perhaps only about two or three, maybe. What do you think? Two. About two. Okay, what about at home? What do you think? Um, and the last one is, you're about to go into an exam that you revised for. How confident would you feel? Very confident. Would you? Excellent. That's good, Matthew. Ding! We might not have much confidence in ourselves, but confidence is catching. When someone has confidence in us, it can fill us with confidence. Like Gideon, God has confidence in you and confidence that, he can do, that uh, you can do all things that he has asked you to do. When God spoke to Gideon, Gideon still had doubts. He wanted to know if it was really God that was speaking to him. So he tested God by giving him three tests. Amazingly, God agreed to this testing, even though he didn't actually need to. I'm not sure we should test God, but we can certainly ask him for reassurance if we have doubts in ourselves or doubts that he is really with us. I've often felt his reassuring presence when I've needed it most. Or after I've prayed for more confidence, someone shortly later has sent me an encouraging message. God does understand our lack of confidence and doesn't condemn us for it. Instead, he wants to help us, build us up. I imagine that's why he answered Gideon's prayer. What things are coming up for you in the future? How confident do you feel about moving up to the next school year? Maybe moving school? Perhaps before then, things happening in the summer. Proverbs 3, 26 says, For the Lord will be your confidence and keep your foot from being caught. Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Whatever is coming up for you, know that the Lord is with you and can be your strength and confidence. 
Thank you uh, for joining us this morning. Just to remind you that from next Sunday, there will be just one pre-recorded service on a Sunday and they'll alternate between the all-age service, the traditional service and the adult-based contemporary service. If you'd like to contact us or ask for prayer, then please use the contact details that will come up at the end of the service. And every Sunday at 11 o'clock throughout the summer, you are really welcome to join us for a Zoom coffee and chat. And the details for that will also come up at the end. Whatever you are doing during the holidays, stay safe, keep looking to the Lord, keep talking and listening to him. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Did you know? What? Uh, uh, oh, oh, no. oh. The Holy Spirit is our God living inside oh, us. Did you know? Did you know? What? Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. No. We are the church and we're shining in the darkness. No. Holy Spirit, help us to share God's love. God's love. Power to glow, glow, glow. Power to glow, glow, glow. You know what? Uh, uh, oh, oh, no. the Holy Spirit is alive and always with us. Did you know? Did you know what? Uh, uh, oh, oh, no. we are the church lighting up the world for Jesus. Holy Spirit, help us to share God's love. God's love. How I to glow, glow, glow. How I to glow, glow, glow. Love.